Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Captain America is known as being the iconic and traditional good guy of the bunch when it comes to the Avengers. Steve Rogers represents the ideals of loyalty, hard work, patriotic duty, and sacrifice, and integrity. He's supposed to be a noble and nice guy. But of course, with almost infinite realities possible in the world of the Marvel Universe, this isn't always how it shakes out for him. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the darker realities when it comes to Cap, especially in the realm of what he is wearing, as we count down the top 10 scary alternate Captain America suits. We'll be taking a look at some of the most frightening suits that you could come up against, and some of the most villainous versions of Steve Rogers, as well as some of the most villainous and unstoppable people to adopt the mantle, or look like Captain America at least. And be sure to stick around to the end of this list where I'll have some bonus content coming your way in the form of a special honorary mention. All right, let's get counting. Number 10, Age of X suit. This suit looks very similar to Captain America's standard go-to, but with a few tweaks. He's got one of those super 90s small pouched belts. His suit is just blue and white, and it has blue and white camo print along the shoulders. Oh yeah, and his shield also glows. What really makes this suit scary is what it represents for this usually noble Avenger. In Age of X, the Avengers are hunting down and killing mutants due to anti-mutant legislation. This version of Cap finds and kills Mystique only to discover that she was protecting mutant children. This prompts Cap to reassess the Avengers team's orders, prompting them to change sides in the conflict and instead fight with, not against, the mutants. Phew! That's usually not how it goes though, as we've seen in many Avengers vs. X-Men. Number 9, Exoskeleton Suit. This version of Captain's suit was designed by Iron Man, and as its name implies, it's quite a bit tougher than the standard outfit. It has shiny metal gauntlets and boots, and some pretty crazy shoulder pauldrons, as well as a metal helmet that only leaves his eyes and mouth exposed. Most fans might think this suit is more cool than scary, and sure, it's definitely cool, but I do think it would be a scary suit to see headed your way were you the bad guy when Cap was chasing you down, as it's much tougher looking than the original. Number 8, Age of Ultron suit. In the Age of Ultron storyline, we see Captain America struggle to go on in a tattered version of his suit. Sure, this is similar to the classic, but just tattered, but what's really frightening here is what this suit represents for Cap defeat, not something Captain America is super experienced in dealing with. Even when he was a Hydra sleeper agent, he was still remarkably successful. Not only is this suit all torn up, but his shield is also reduced to slivers after it is broken. Cap still manages to pull together a plan and a team to try and stop Ultron, of course, but as the state of his suit indicates, it doesn't end up going well for Steve. Number 7, MCU's Nomad Suit. After Steve Rogers leaves the Avengers and goes into hiding following the events of Civil War, after he breaks out the heroes who are imprisoned in the raft, he gets a new look. In the comics, this look could be likened to what he wore when he was in his black suit as Nomad after he left the title of Captain America, or the suit that he wore when he was known as the Captain. Cap decided to go out on his own in the comics due to the way the government sought to control and use him. Sound familiar? Hence the name for this point. Hence why I like to refer to this MCU look as the Nomad suit, even though he's not really exactly Nomad but still. And one of the things that makes this suit in the MCU so frightening is how capable it is. This suit came with vibranium arm shields that allowed him to hold his own momentarily alone against Thanos. The suit also represents a time when Captain America is really more of a vigilante than he ever was before. No longer working with S.H.I.E.L.D. or the military, but instead for the ideals that he just he believes in, which I think makes him an even more formidable foe in my opinion, should you have to come up against him in battle. Number 6, Civil Warrior. This version of Cap's suit comes from the game Marvel Contest of Champions. This alternate version of Cap actually succeeded in stopping Iron Man during the events of Civil War by killing him. To honor his fallen friend and rival, Steve Rogers uses part of Tony's Iron Man suit to create the Civil Warrior suit, which is basically like a Captain America version of the Iron Man suit, complete with its own further technologically advanced shield. This is a fearsome suit that means business, and also represents an alarming alternate reality where the Civil War ended with bloodshed and with us permanently losing that reality's Tony Stark. A frightening reality to imagine reality completely without Tony Stark. Kind of the MCU. Unless he comes back. We'll see what happens. Number 5, a Maradroid. I mean, the whole package really is frightening here. As well as the ginormous size of the suit and the version of Cap that is wearing it, a Maradroid is a villain known as Lyle Decker, who after having his plans foiled by Steve Rogers' Captain America and his sidekick Bucky, built himself a 12 foot tall android body. 
because what else do you do when you've been defeated as a villain? He later managed to capture Captain America and infuse Cap's powers into the android body that he'd made. Deckard then uploaded his consciousness into the body, making that body kind of a weird android suit for him. But also, it was kind of just him, because he was in it. His mind was in it. The suit that that android body wears is also that of Captain America, but of course a massive version of his suit, because it's a 12 foot tall android body. This weird alternate version in the main continuity appears as a foe and also pops up in the miniseries Captain America Core, where you can also find some other really cool alternates of Captain America as well. Number four, US Agent slash the Captain Suit. We can't talk about dark and spooky Captain America suits without mentioning one of the most iconic. That would of course be the suit belonging to US Agent John Walker. This suit is almost all black, save for the red and white stripes in the rectangle on the front of its chest, and its red gloves and boots. This suit relates back to another one that we touched on earlier in Cap's history when we talked about Steve's fugitive, or nomad suit as I was calling it, from the MCU. And of course the nomad suit in the comics. The history here is that after Captain America dropped his mantle, John Walker was hired by the government to replace Captain America, moving from the name Super Patriot to Captain America himself. Rogers himself, however, had moved from the name Nomad and had just adopted the name The Captain, also changing his look. While John Walker and Steve Rogers fought, eventually Walker changed sides and actually began working with Cap. When the day had been won, Rogers returned to the mantle and look of Captain America, and later on, after John Walker resurfaced, he was given the name US Agent, as well as Rogers' old suit that he had worn when he was the Captain. Number three, Iron Man suit. This suit comes to us from the alternate reality of Earth 70105, which explores a world where Dr. Erskine was killed before Rogers could be transformed into a super soldier. Instead, Steve ends up signing up for the Iron Man project, which sees him fused with a giant suit of armor. If you're wondering where you can read this story and see this suit, it can be found in the pages of the Marvel Limited series, Bullet Points. The frightening thing about this suit for Steve Rogers is that he can't get out of it. He had himself surgically fused with the suit, which was necessary in order for him to become this retro looking version of Iron Man, and for him to become the powerful force that he was in World War II. He would eventually get removed from the suit, but would be forced to go back into it years later to fight the alternate version of the Hulk. Number two, Age of X-Man. While this Captain America isn't really Steve Rogers, the character who does adopt the mantle and who lurks under this mask only makes this suit even more terrifying. In Age of X-Men, Apocalypse ends up becoming an alternate version of Captain America, complete with his own shield with an A on it instead of the traditional star. He looks unstoppable and even finds his own version of sidekick Bucky Barnes in his own young clone, Genesis. Number 1. Hydra Supreme Suit this suit is worn by the reality warped version of Captain America, who had his history and personality altered with the Cosmic Cube, turned him into a longtime Hydra loyalist and sleeper agent. Instead of being red, white, and blue, this suit is gold and Hydra green. Cap still wears the star on his chest, but it glows in neon green, as does the star on his shield, which is not rounded in this version, but instead has three points with a gold metal cross on its front, more of a medieval kind of looking shield. His costume also has a few black accents and his eyes glow green through his helmet. This suit isn't just terrifying to look at, but it's terrifying because of what it represents, a reality where Steve Rogers, aka Hydra Supreme, is unbelievably evil and frighteningly successful. Thank you so much for watching Nerd Squad, I hope you enjoyed this list and learned about some of the cool new alternate outfits that belong to a version of the Captain America mantle. And it's time for a quick honorable mention. Did you know that Captain America has also merged with a version of the Venom symbiote before? Yep, he has. You can catch this black and white symbiote suit of Caps in the Edge of Venomverse comics, where even Logan was surprised to find out that this alternate existed. This version of Steve is known as Captain Venom and comes from the alternate Earth of one. 7084. Fun facts! What are some of your favorite of Cap's looks? Who is your favorite Captain America alternate? Which alternate version of this hero do you think is actually the most scary? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to tap that like, smash that sub, and ring our bell if you haven't already. You know, I love it when you do. This has been Top 10 Nerd, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, reminding you, as always, to stay nerdy, YouTube.